lunchtime and welcome back to TRK Live again. Um, when we started doing this back in January, um, I don't think I could have foreseen it going on this long, um, but goodness, I don't know whether we're on our, bed, our ninth or our tenth uh, broadcast uh, for Saturday afternoons, but I'm glad that you guys are liking it. Thank you for your messages uh, during the week as well to say you've been looking forward to it. Thank you for your questions. Got lots of questions here to uh, cover over the next hour. And um, I hope you are going to enjoy what we have in store for you today. So we've got obviously answering your questions, but we've also got some, some new bits and pieces to show you, uh, some new shop samples and things like that. And we're going to talk to Joy again today for a little short moment. Uh, for a few minutes, she's gonna be joining us to tell us about Leone, which is what I am wearing today. Um, and we'll get into all of that uh, over the course of the next um, the next part of this lunchtime, Saturday. I don't have any more worries. Uh, that's not a good start. <laughs> I do have tea this week um, so that I don't sort of fall apart into a coughing fit like I did last week. Um, it's lovely and hot, so that's going to keep me going. Um, it's lovely to see you all. Nice to see all the waves and everybody coming in. Um, I will dive right in, I think, because I wanted a few kind of announcements to make. One is that we are going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway because next week is St. Patrick's Week. We don't just do one, one day anymore. It has to be St. Patrick's Week. Um, so uh, tomorrow there will be a Instagram grid post uh, where you can enter um, by commenting to win. Let's just dive right in with some prizes. These guys. Okay, this is one of our um, Irish yarn bundle combinations that we have up on the website. These have been set aside specifically for a prize. Um, and one lucky winner is going to get a skein of Irish artisan yarns uh, DK Tweet, which is an exclusive base that uh, Tara of Irish artisan yarns does for us. And that is the character read color. So that's skein number one. Skein number two is Ullen Sock Light in Lore. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And skein number three is Townhouse Yarns Abbey Lace in Trench. So we're celebrating our Irish dyers uh, for St. Patrick's Week with a prize that's going to be drawn. The winner's going to be drawn. Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday is Patrick's Day, so Sherlock will draw it on Wednesday. Um, so don't miss your chance to enter to win this beautiful selection. So that's the Hills combination. We called it Hills 2021 because we had some other green inspired ones last year. Um, but that is up for grabs tomorrow. Um, and what else? So that's that. Um, our striped sweater kits are up on the website. They're good to go if anybody wanted to grab some of those over the weekend because they had been out of stock last week. Um, and new stock alert, new arrival alert is the competition is open to international people. Yes, international people. Anywhere, anywhere in the world you can enter, no problem at all. Um, I didn't get to talk to you about these guys last week because we sort of ran out of time and I wanted to let you know that we have Julie Nitz and Paris's glorious, gorgeous filigree shawl, the kits in Norn Yarn um, have made it back onto the website. We got a fabulous delivery in from Tuva last week. So Tuva is from Norn Yarn and she's made three different color combinations um, of fades for the filigree shawl. Now this is the original yarn that was used. Um, it is a singles merino silk and yak. And these skeins are 120 gram skeins. So you're getting a lot of bang for that book of 480 meters. A lot of lengths. That's the gold fade that I'm after getting out of order here. We've got one. And there's pinks. Bring these up. That's the second kit. Those ones there. And there's lovely blues and greens as well. Like quite a dark, moody, smoky, bluey green combo right there god they're big skeins i can't even hold four of them all that there you go okay so they were new new bits new bits that i didn't get to tell you about last week um and the sneak peek or the it's not even a sneak peek we're going to in depth into this sample today which is leone from coco knits um and i'll be talking to joy in a little bit after we've done some of your questions first um and we will tell you a little bit more about that um hey 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 everybody thanks for joining um okay so question number one for today is 
from Paddington Bear 8, love that username, uh, who's Joan. <laughs> I hope you're on Joan, if you are, give us a wave. And you were wondering about any suggestions for the turntable sweater. Um, this is Turntable by Albina McLaughlin, LB Handnits. Um, and if you were looking for suggestions in a merino silk or yak blend, or a blend that is merino silk and yak, more accurately. Um, and you were wondering, would a fade work for that? I think a fade would work. We had a little uh, chat with Albina um, back when the pattern was released and she was totally encouraging. She's like, mix up the colours, all that sort of stuff. Because it's a very, um, ooh, it's a very sort of straight up and down, like a simple rib that you could have a lot more fun uh, with. Uh, so I will show you some of the Townhouse Yarns Tara 4 ply in single colours and a little bit of a fade. I Probably like a three, three or four skein fade max, I think, over the course of that sweater would work. Um, if you wanted to do solid colour, we have Tara in cloak, just looking at good stock levels at the moment, amethyst and shimmer. So they would be beautiful in that, as would, I have to put some things down and pick some more things up. Myrtle, if you wanted to go a little bit more um, neutral, that's got, that's like a smoky, petroly grey. Um, then we have Smelt and Utopia. And finally in there is Oasis with those speckles. But these guys would be a beautiful fade. So that again is Smelt, Utopia, and then Oasis for those three. Um, if my fingers weren't in the way of them, it <laughs> would work really nice. Lots of people saying hello um, and enjoying those. Um, you could throw in a bit more pink if you wanted. That's going into shimmer. Um, or you could go with cloak as well. That would work really well as a fade. These are all four ply weight um, and they are, we're suggesting them for the turntable sweater by Albina McLaughlin. Now, I think a few questions have come in, so I just wanna scroll back. What do you need to do to take part in the St. Patrick's giveaway? Um, comment and tag a friend under the grid post that we're going to put up tomorrow. So you're getting like a head start on that by finding out about it today. Um, and I think that was it. You've been and Nancy, you've been waiting for the Noreen Yarn Kits. They are here, haven't we? Okay, fantastic. Okay, so there's some lovely options there in Tara. I hope that helped um, and that's given you some ideas. It's nice to see them next to each other. I'm gonna pop them over there. And okay, that's brilliant. Uh, I'm glad you like them, Joan, I hope that helps. So um, next up was Bridie Kenny who was wondering about uh, what yarn is the basic sweater knit in and where to get the pattern. So I think Bridie, um, sorry, the yarn that I was just talking about there is Townhouse Yarns Tara 4 ply, just for Varden Road who was asking the question. Uh, Bridie was wondering about the basic sweater knit. I think you mean this one. Uh, other than that, you might need that one, <laughs> which is just called Stripes. Um, and that's on the website. This is the basic sweater my size that we were featuring probably last week and the week before. Um, that pattern is up on the website too. So you can just search basic sweater my size and that will come up. And the yarn that... I just dropped a load of things. <laughs> Okay, the yarn, we'll get them in a second, that it's made in, Bridie is Camaro's Snefnug, which means snowflake in Danish. Um, and it's a beautiful combination of alpaca, cotton and merino wool, but in this really nice fluffy, fluffy, fluffy texture, and it knits up into gorgeous designs. Let me grab these things. <laughs> okay, it'll be fine. It'll all be okay in the end. Oh, there's a hook. Okay. So, I hope that helps Bridie. Um, next up, uh, Patricia, you were just asking about the most recent um, episode of Pom Pom Quarterly. We're not getting those in just at the moment. Um, down the line, we might look at getting some of the back, back issues in. But just at the moment, I think when people can't come in and have a flick through the magazines, uh, they're, not, they're not going as well. So, um, we're going to leave them aside for the moment. Um, so... On to from Claire to here. Hi, Claire. 
if you're there. Um, it's you were wondering would Hamilton work for the pearl strings, which is a thing that I just dropped. This is pearl strings. Kind of hard to see the detailing on it. There's little textured lines of moss stitch through it and in here as well. A little bit of garden around the oak. So that's by Heart Heidi Kira Mayer. Um, and uh, you're wondering would the Ham Hamilton yarn work for that? So Hamilton would be a little bit too thick for this design, um, but you could use um, from BC Garn as well and also organic and um, GOTS certified, but it's Sami Samila would be closer in weight for if you wanted to, a kind of a wool based version of the pearl strings top, that would work. Um, and then Belmonte or Morning Salutation, I did. Possibly one of the things that has rolled away is um, Rosarios for Belmonte, which is a, ah, here, a cotton and merino mixed yarn, also GOTS certified. Um, and you can see oh, they all have this uh, marl in them because the dye takes up uh, differently on the plant-based fiber and the animal-based fiber. You can see that. Um, so that would work for, uh, in fact, that's what the sample is in, in the sort of neutrally gray. So that's our one there. Um, and the other one I was thinking is morning salutation would work as well for that. So this is the lyocell and cotton blend yarn. That would work. Um, so a few ideas there. Okay, time for tea. Uh, the yarn and colour sample looks lovely. Yeah, we've, um, it does, it works because it's just going to go with everything and it's nice, nice and lightweight. So, um, but that, that blend of uh, wool and cotton is just, I think, suited for the, the Irish weather because it's never super, super warm or very, very rarely super warm. So um, you'll get the best of both worlds of sort of lightness and breathability, but that bit of warmth too. Okay, cool. Um, hello, Sive. Sive. Give us a wave if you're there. Sive is doubling free. And you were saying, Sive, that your friend loves single malt, the, the shade single malt from Townhouse Yarns. Um, but you want to make the Pont des Arts sweater by Julie Knits in Paris, which is this one here. My printer did something very strange with Julie's hair. Julie's hair is quite blue, but not that blue. <laughs> um, uh, what colour? Oh, sorry. I'll just jump back to the colour. I think it's like 47. Mm, hold on two seconds. Nope. Sorry. So our sample is knit in colour 43. 43 of Belmonte for that one there. Um, there you are. Uh, next side, sorry. Single malt in townhouse yarn. So your friend was looking for that, but you wanted you're looking for something that's iron weight so that you could make the Pont des Arts sweater. So at the moment, this is a good side note actually. Um, at the moment, we don't have an iron weight in Townhouse Yarns. Um, more and more people are asking for it. <laughs> and we've, we have kind of a plan, but the plan that might not happen until the autumn. Um, and yeah, do you remember I talked about the, the clap of tea and <laughs> knit along? We would have to special order that yarn um, and getting quite a lot of it. So I need I need to hear from lots of you if you really, really, really want to do the retro Clapote knit along to let me know so that I can confidently go ahead and make <laughs> and, and bring an iron weight, a special iron weight yarn into the townhouse yarns range. So um, I know I'm probably preaching to the converted a little bit here, but um, do shout out, do let me know if you're you're keen to do that and if you're okay with doing it in the autumn as well. So we're celebrating 15 years in business this year. Um, and although the anniversary is officially in June, we could do something like a big event in the autumn um, around that, around the exclusive yarn and everything. I love you guys. You've got to say yes, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so I really, I really, really, really want another clap of tea in my life. Um, and for it to be a townhouse yarns one, I think is, um, would be a really super way of marking the 15 years of business. So, okay, great. Let's do it. Why not? Why not? I'll talk to the bank. <laughs> right. So Ponte's Arts, I'm sorry, Si, we went off on a big tangent there. Um, so there isn't currently an iron weight in the townhouse yarns range. The colour that you were asking about 
heck is this beauty? This absolute beauty of single malt. Um, and uh, I'm knitting with it at the moment. Ashling has just finished a really, really gorgeous love note sweater. Ashling, let me take photos of her just now, which is fantastic. And I'm going to show them to you during the week, I think. Um, so uh, what you can do, um, Joy was saying she has made Pontes Arts in uh, Jury Decay. Um, so that would work. Um, then you're all still saying yes to clever I love you guys. Um, you can use Jury Decay. Um, you could potentially use Fade Street or Clarendon Sock held double as well. So if you're confident throwing in two strands together, you could do that. Um, and then you were, we were talking about maybe uh, Newa Worsted being an option. So I just want to show those colours beside each other. So that's Newa Worsted beside Single Malt. And then we we're also discussing that more things are going on the floor. Um, Rios in Sunset might be an option. Um, so it is a lovely, lovely, lovely one. Um, a little bit more orange. If I pop those down, it's a little bit more orange than the single malt. In fact, in real life, it's a good bit more orange. Um, there is more Rios coming. So there's more Rios and more sock coming. And I'm hoping that we'll have that by the end of next week now. So if you want to hang on, Sive, then that might be an option there as well. So um, that's the rundown of the potential options for that. Oops. <sighs> I'm doing squats today. Um, great. So, oh, you've just cast on, uh, Ashling has cast on Ponte Arts. You see all of these designs and stuff, they just start getting contagious, don't they? So that's that one. Um, what are you using, Ashling? Um, Mama likes to make. Oh, yes to pre-orders. Great. Is, isn't Jen? Very good idea. Let's get those pre-orders in. <laughs> I like this plan. Um, okay. Yeah. Two, two ends. Yes, exactly. So Adventures and Stitchery is giving the same advice of knitting two, four, two strands of four-ply together to get you up to your iron weight. Um, that could work quite well. Ah, page one. Done. Keeping an eye on the time. Got to get Joy in. Um, let's see. That's quite bright there, isn't it? Okay. And da -da -da -da. Okay. Marie, Marie is Marie Jack 21. Hi Marie Jack, if you're joining us today. Um, so she was saying she's a beginner knitter and she'd like to try knitting something simple to start out. Yes, we've all got, got to start somewhere. Um, can you, can we give you recommendations? We can. Uh, a scarf, knitting needles, wool patterns, and you like greens, rusts, and purple colors. So what I've done is I've pulled out some greens today just to kind of focus on one zone. Um, and I think we have kind of like it's a little printed pattern that needs updating um, but it's this guy the mistake with scarf um, with chunky and iron weight uh, examples in it and it's just a super simple little bit of texture scarf you, you can use the numbers and just do the knit stitch all the way through if you want um, or you can if you if you have let's say knit before as a lot of people maybe did it in their youth or learned um, and the knit stitch comes back to you quite quickly then you can just throw in the pearl and do mistake rib um, so of the yarns that I would recommend for people getting started, a few things. You want a, a nice, smooth, well-balanced yarn that doesn't have like a whole lot of bits of texture and funny things going on <laughs> in it. Um, try and stick away from the dark, dark colors like dark navy and stuff where you're not going to be able to see your stitches. Um, color changes can be nice, but maybe not too busy of a yarn so that you can really see how each stitch is more formed as you go um, and kind of not fall into some some of the pitfalls um, and the yarns that I thought would be suitable see because we're going into Paddy's Day I just stepped up green um, so there's Hamilton number one uh, from BC Yarns so you can see just nice smoothly rounded stitches nothing no fuss or texture um, I brought up another green a lighter one um, Katia Super Merino is a little bit thicker as well. Um, and then Katia Big Merino, thicker again. So if you wanted to put an order in online, the needle sizes are listed 
in <laughs> with the yarns and you can just leave a little note that says please could you include the mistake rib pattern because that's what we do in the shop here is just hand that out to you um uh, with a few little flyers and stuff on how to get started classes um online groups or zooms for beginners specifically not there's not a online group that we're running at the moment um specifically for beginners um, we do have a virtual, a digital course that you can take with Carol Feller um, called Zero to Knit and it'll take you all the way through from your first stitches to making like a mini cardigan. So all of the techniques are based in that um, and then you're, you're ready to either, either the mini cardigan is for a baby that might be in your life or it's just your practice one for uh, making your, your grown up one. Um, so uh, that's that's the way we've done it. So it's a pre-recorded course, but you can interact with Carol and ask her questions um, by leaving comments on the videos. Um, and a lot of people have found that really, really useful. Um, and then groups, Nancy was saying, you can find them on Ravelry. Um, there's definitely, I think Diane from Dublin Knit Collective was running kind of chats as well, Zoom chats occasionally. Um, so I don't know, it's not Dublin Knit Collective. If anybody knows Diane's current um, Instagram handle <laughs> so you can pop it in the comments um, and then you can keep an eye out for the groups that are coming there but they would be for all levels they're not not just for beginners okay hi yeah 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 right next so that's Marie Marie if you're watching back I don't think you're on now but if you're watching back hello and I hope that helps um I'm gonna finish this page let's see yeah come on we'll fly through Okay, Claire, Claire, you are wondering about, it's Claire, Brenda, um, actually that's your email address, not your Instagram handle, so I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm not going to call that out. Um, so Claire is looking to get some Malabrigo options for the Night Shift Shawl by Andrea Mary. Um, Hank Sarah's gotten the, the name there. And... You had kind of started with a few suggestions, so I built something around that, Claire. Is that you there? Hi. How's it going? Um, okay. I'm going to put this down here. Put that over there. Oops. So, night shift. We didn't have all the colours, Claire. I think maybe we were looking um, online and a couple have sold out since, but I think this would be really nice. So, six colours. Um, sunset's in there <laughs> it's the last skein of sunset so let me know if you want this we better hold on to this for you um okay so there are just not enough ways to hold yarn hang on mm -hmm. this is what i had in mind um bearing in mind i'm gonna lay it out actually so there's two where there's a few more skeins and we want to do um get some options and some opinions towards the end um Basically, definitely sunset. So it's the night shift shawl that Claire wants to do by Andrea Mary. So sunset, Ravelry Red, and Purpurus. They will all go beautifully together. And then I thought you could mix in Diana Azule's. And I think that's Pines, is it? Yeah. Diana Azule's and Pines. There we go. You don't need me in the picture, just my yarn. Um, so the light is doing a few funny things there, but I thought all of those together would work really nice. <laughs> um, there was also Paris Night, so if you wanted to switch out the Azules for something more dark, more dark and contrasty, technical terms, more dark and contrasty, um, that would be the one that I would go for, I think. Um, see what you think about those. Um, and I, I'm going to throw them over here so that I can lay them out as long as we have time and I'll show you kind of scan over a little bit later on. Remind me if I forget. Okay. Uh, guidelines. Guidelines. Yeah, let's wait on those guidelines. Sorry, Claudia. Mm. Um, okay. So... Oversized fluffy cardigan is our next query. So Sinead Horst, how are you doing Sinead? Uh, I would love to do an oversized fluffy cardigan for myself. Have you thoughts on yarns and patterns? Miss you all, miss you too. Um, yes, I had kind of went and did a little Ravelry search and I've put these little short links in here. So um, if you've asked a question and I've 
given you a couple of options of patterns from Ravelry. You can email me and I can send you the short link to just those results. If you, if you know what I mean, like that you can just go, go straight through and, and click through the options uh, in your own time after this. So the chunky patterns. Ah, here we are. I knew I'd done them. Okay. And then I printed it bigger. Number one from Camaro's the dreamy cardigan my size um with absolutely beautifully squishy with a lovely deep pocket and all sorts of pretty things in that so there's loads of options there's actually she gives two different necklines and two different lengths um in there you can see lovely big deep cuffs and that sort of nice stuff so that would be knit with the sniff sniff nug snowflake um and then there's the Sunday cardigan, nice big cozy one. This is the mohair edition, but they also, or petite knit, also does um, a, like a regular one. As most of the patterns that she does are mixing yarns and holding different strands together. So your mohair edition is three strands of lace weight, if you wanted to go for that, knit on six and seven millimeter needles. Or you can hold two strands of lace weight with a worsted for her standard Sunday cardigan. Um, so many pretty things. Then I came across this guy, which is the Madly On cardigan. Um, again, using Aran weight, so I'd be saying Hamilton um, or Rios, um, Soft Donegal, all that sort of stuff would be gorgeous in that. Um, the Franca cardigan, very cozy, slouchy, um, sort of just drape around you, nice, nice and snug. Um, deep pockets, big bonus too. Um, so it's worsted weight yarn and six millimeter needles are what's recommended. Um, I'll show you some of the, the options there in a moment. And then if you wanted to go bigger, you wanted to throw in a lot more texture and detail. I wasn't sure, you just said sort of big oversized cardigan, but not a difficulty level or an, anything else. So we just thought we'd throw this one in here, which is Citadel by Hohi Locatelli, which uses, um, <laughs> I, I went for a lot of pockets actually. Um, uh, Joy has made this in Rios and it is fantabulously absolutely beautiful. Go big or go home. Yes, Sarah, absolutely. Um, so any of these guys, as I said, I can send you a little short link so you can go and review the patterns and see what you might like. Um, but yarn wise, this time I went for a blue team. So there was Snefnook, um, that is in color 7359 Least Black. Um, Hamilton, squishy, squishies. I don't know if blue is your color, <laughs> so I'm just gonna throw it out there. This is color 108. Um, Rios in Azules. We weren't given guidance on this, we just give that as options. Pockets are pockets, everybody go for the pockets. Um, a 5519 in soft Donegal. I think they would work for it any of those beautiful designs um, just with the petite ones you'd want to be holding together with your two strands of mohair or alpaca based fluff with those to get up to the six seven millimeter needles that are needed okay oversized stuff now good summer t-shirt pattern and yarn for it, something light and comfy leone <laughs> so that's this guy here leone i'm gonna go back here a little bit so you can see it a little better I hope um it is super lightweight and comfy i'm probably not wearing the right under layer for it but that's okay um so we're going to talk to joy about that in a moment and um, there was sorry this is for sally salbug if you're here hi sally um pearl strings by harry d Garamayer. um there is a t-shirt by justin L justin L lorkowska which is called este um, that Jackie made uh, in Fibre Company Meadow. It's only a tiny picture, but it's got this lovely lace detail here on the sleeves. Um, and our Fibre Company Meadow, I've just put it into uh, a discounted range if you wanted to go and get that. And it only takes like a skein or two to do Este. I think even one skein, depending on size. And here we go. I knew I had some more here. There's the Spring Summer Anchors Tea, which we have the kits for uh, on the website. Um, and I should say, the lovely Ashling is at the moment frant 
frantically tagging every product that I mentioned during this live. So, because what we want to do is afterwards, we're going to share a link to um, anything that we mentioned so that it's a little bit easier for you to guys to find the stuff. So um, if you're watching this back, you should be able to find the link through our Instagram, the link in our bio. Um, and basically, if I say I'm Christy, she tags it. Great. Um, everybody say hi. Uh, Rift t-shirt from Jacqueline Sieslak. Sieslak. I wasn't too sure about how to pronounce that. I love this. I love the, the super sort of slouchy, airy style. And if you're thinking about summer, airy, loose is the way to go. Um, sport weight. So again, we were back on Belmonte by Rosaria Spore and the morning salutation. Um, that would be really nice in it. Also, Balada. Um, I didn't pick up a ball for that, but that's really nice. I have a ranunculus in Balada, which is lovely. Um, so I would recommend any of those for the Rift tea. And uh, oh yeah, that's for later on. Um, sorry, that's another picture of pearl strings, which is the one that um, just in a different color. So I can show you that. Um, do 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 pearl strings, and somebody wanted to see all of the Mel Belmonte colors in real life. So that's Emer Casey in real life next to each other. <laughs> um, ooh, you're making Rift a new sport. Very nice, very, very nice. Um, it's a really nice t-shirt, isn't it? And then we're really looking forward to the book, the Embody book that's coming in soon as well. Um, okay, all of the colors of Belmonte in a handy dandy basket. So that is for Emer Casey. Emer, if you were there, is there any ones that you would like to see a little bit more up close? I can do that, just shed. Ooh. Oh, ranunculus with short sleeves. Yes, Helena, that's a really good idea. Um, I like that. That is color 23, just in case anybody's interested in that one. Um, but these are all, and this is what I was telling you about earlier on, why the colors take up, or the dye is taken up slightly different um, across that ball of yarn. It's really nice to work with. I like this one a lot. Okay. When do you think we'll be shipping out in body pre-orders? Um, there is a particular schedule for Pom Pom um, where we won't be allowed to send them out to you until uh, they are ready for the release date that they have set. Um, thank you, Sarah. End of March is what it says, but I know the copies are on their way to us. I just, I received the DHL shipping notification during the week, so that's great. The pink one and the one the pearl strings are made with, Emer, no problem. So, that's them next to each other. So shade 23 and shade 43. In real life, this is not, it's not really that beige. It's, it's per, yeah, pearly, pearly gray. Hopefully that gives you a better idea of how it all works up. But yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely more of a, yeah, a pearl stone color, not beige, I wouldn't call it that way. Um, that helps. Happy days, happy days. Great. So we're flying along. Um, um, Maruja, Maruja, hiya. You were asking about Leica, Leica needles. We don't have any plans on stocking them. Um, we have loads of Nipro, loads of Chowgu. I'm getting in some more types of Chowgu this next week as well. Um, clover bits, all that sort of stuff. So we just don't really don't have room on the shelves for another brand at the moment, I'm afraid. So sorry about that, but no plans at the moment. Um, Kathy, oh yeah, Kathy, yours are laid out. Hi, Marika, how are you doing? Um, we're gonna have a look at those because it was just too many colors and I wasn't gonna try and hold them all up. Um, so bear with me. And finally, Nitty May was wondering for the smock jumper. Turn your end, this guy here. Um, whether uh, whether the Katia cotton merino as a single strand would work instead of holding together um, the, the lace weights and the happy answer is that yes yes it would so I did have a ball of cotton merino here to show there we are um so you could use a single strand of Katia cotton merino with that pattern rather than uh holding the two strands of lace weight together <sighs> okay will I move you joy Let's talk to Joy for a second and then I'll do the, the other color combinations that are down on the 
forward there. Okay. Hello, Joy. Thanks. So, she has been at it again. Smoke has been coming off her needles. <laughs> and she's going to tell us all about Leonie from Coco Kids. <laughs> Hello, yep, Joy. You look fresh out of the hairdressers, so you do. <laughs> well, I cleaned myself up. <laughs> Oh, baby, only gorgeous. Only you were telling me you were out in the in being blown away this morning. I was. It was cold and windy when I was out walking. I was I was in a right state when I got back. Oh, but you never know. On, I said, "Oh, quick into the shower." <laughs> <laughs> so you, when did you cast on for this beautiful design? Say that again. When did you cast on? Oh, um, Wednesday before last. It took about a week to be hmm. better. Very good. So not, not too long. Now, I'm going to show the yarn. So this, uh, we got 100% linen yarn in and it is this handily positioned down here. So it is BC Garn Lino. Um, and we both agreed that Leone was a beautiful sample for it. And then we both didn't read the pattern right. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't read the instructions. In the pattern, I think it's the Ravelry page. It was a Oh, that's I true. Yeah. I didn't see it in the pattern and mm. anyway. <laughs> anyway, so what happened was Lena was uh, a suggested yarn for Leone, um, but in the Ravelry pattern listing, it says held double. Okay, so we didn't do that. <laughs> um, but we don't think, we don't think it's necessary. Now you, you... No, I, well, I mean, you could. It, mm. you, it's, you'd need to wear something under it unless you're 20 and gorgeous uh, figure. <laughs> <laughs> You could you could double it and it would be you know denser so you could use yeah. it as a t-shirt but with the single strand that comes out it's a beautiful overtop i mean i'm yeah. i was really amazed when i put it on it's bottom up so yeah you couldn't do that try on you know i love that try on from top down mm -hmm. that you, you know settles your mind about something that you're not sure of because yeah. i thought i had this huge thing and i I kept saying, I wonder, should I go back? Could I whip out? There's something funny with this. But when I came up to the shoulders and there's a three needle bind off and I slipped it on then, I was like, oh my God, this thing is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You sent me pictures straight away. I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. No. At it... that moment, you know, you're kind of, especially with the bottom up, you're like, yeah. I don't know whether this is going to be nice or not, but mm. it's, it really is lovely, isn't it? It is absolutely fabulous. Yeah, yeah. And like you're saying, and then I think you, you had Maureen try it on yesterday as well. And you're saying, you know, nothing in it when you see it, it, like just sat flat. And you put it on a mannequin for me, didn't you? So when I say maybe we could see it too. But yeah. that, that you know, just, it just looks like nothing at all. And then you put it on the way it drapes and everything is just gorgeous. Yeah. No? I mean, you could dress up, you know, mm. you need to wear a cami top underneath. But yeah. I mean, it could be evening wear, it could be beach wear. You know the olden days when we used to go to the song oh, and, and you want to go to the bar for a coffee or a cocktail. <laughs> um, you know, those days will come back. They will come back. They will come back. And linen is such a, like, it's the t a type of material you just keep wearing it and throwing it around the place and it just keeps getting better and better. So yeah. it, it'll be worn for years and years and years to come, for sure. Yeah. Um, you've yeah. already gotten yarn for a second one. <laughs> <laughs> I want one for me. I got the navy, and I'm lovely. Uh, yeah, I got the navy. Yeah. So, so we got a, oh, a couple of things about the pattern. Yes. Um, casting on, I cast on initially, um, just my normal cast on. You mm. need a stretchy cast on. Okay. It's really tight. I did um, the long tail cast on, and mm -hmm. uh, I knew immediately a couple of rows in. Uh, no, no, this not is not going to happen. Work. So I went back and I did the, well, if whatever stretchy cast on is your favorite, but I used the German twisted cast on and it worked perfectly. Yeah. So she has a few lovely features in the pattern too. Mm. Um, how she does the, the neckline. So because it is such a kind of a, you know, there's no edging or anything. Mm -hmm. So there's a lovely, just a few lovely features in it. And mm. she does different kind of short rows, which I thought at the time was, oh, that's because it's so open, you know, to hide yeah. a bit better. Of course, it wasn't supposed to be that open. 
but um, yeah, some lovely features in it. Yeah, something called sh Shadow Wrap Short Rose, is it? Yeah. Shadow yeah. Wrap Short Rose, yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going to make one of these, so <laughs> all, the, all the tips are very much appreciated. Um, and uh, that, maybe that color, a little pink, yeah. I'm not sure. Coming up, there's a gorgeous sort of amber one as well. Um, and tell me actually, yeah. what needle size did you use? Well, that was one of the things, mm. remember we were talking initially, it was telling us yeah. like an eight millimeter. It's an American, American pattern, but, um, yeah. and I did try, no, <clears throat> I didn't gauge, I didn't do my gauge <laughs> one, but um, I started with the eight and I thought, oh, this is ridiculous. So I read did my little revelry thing and I went on to the projects and mm -hmm. uh, I saw 6.5 was recommended. A lot of people said they got gauge. So okay. I did a 6.5 and it is pretty much to gauge. Yes, so. excellent. Yeah, and I think a 6.5, especially for the single strand version is probably, yeah, yeah as thick as you want to go, yeah. I think. Yeah, or um, well, I think when I'm doing the, the oh, it just came to me this morning, and I like I messaged you the the Stellaris. I think I'm going to put a thing with Stellaris with my navy. I could. They're already talking about Stellaris in the comments. Oh really? Oh really? <laughs> they're well, on us. They're on us. My talk with this morning. <laughs> yeah, she was well ahead of you. Well ahead of you. That'd be fabulous, especially with the navy. I think it'll just show off the sparkle so much more. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. And then, like you say, dress up, dress down. This thing with like lovely pair of linen trousers. You know, when, yeah. like you say, we get to go to beaches and things like that. It'd be amazing. Um, so it's, it is completely gorgeous. We did put together some kits for it. Um, with your, you can see. I think Joy wears it better. To be honest, go and have a look at Joy's photos are on the website now. Um, oh, there's. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh but yeah we put we just selected a couple of colors um for the kits at the moment but you can use any of the range of lino and 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 here's here is the big reveal how many skeins or balls did it take three three just three and that and which size sorry pardon which size did you make again i did the medium the medium, medium, medium. Second size, yeah. So, yeah. second size in, just three balls of the beautiful. And I, I followed what you said, um, 12 inches body. So if you're doing longer than that, you probably would need a fourth skein. 12 okay. inch, six inch sleeves, which I mean, you could play around with that. Mm -hmm. Somebody you, yeah. on Apple actually picked up on the bottom, they picked up and they went down as well. I mean, that, that's a lovely option too. Very nice. So, yeah, yeah yeah so i mean that's always a bit you know if you're you're comfortable using ravelry at the moment you can go on and have a look at the different projects and you're always going to get an inspiration for modifications and things like that so um and i Chrissy was wondering I, yeah would you use 6.5 millimeters with the solaris I still will. yeah now i will say if you're a beginner or if you know it, it's loose so yes. you're a very fine yarn on a 6.5 mm -hmm. so it it can be a little bit fiddly because yeah. of that and also it's not even, you don't get a kind of a real even, you know. Yeah, picture. tension. Don't be expecting an even tension. I actually think that's part yeah. of the charm of this, that it's yeah. a little bit more rustic yeah. and kind of casual and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, nice and quick and, and oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 6.5 needles, it flew up. Yeah, like just, I was, I'd be more relaxed on the next one, especially when I'm doing something completely new. Yeah. Uh, I, this thing, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but it's it is meant to because it's meant to give that boxy shape and the hang and yeah. the drape and everything so yeah. i mean i think the, the the smallest size is a bust measurement of 42 inches or something and it's you know what i mean you're not it's not at all intended to be fit it's supposed to drape and yeah. hang from up here on these lovely shoulder binds as well it would suit me I, yeah. I mean that's why i was so excited when i sent you the photographs i was like oh my god this is <laughs> You can take a look at the pictures. Look at Joy's face. She's so thrilled. <laughs> it's brilliant. Fantastic. So I'm just going to review. Some people were asking some questions and a couple of people are joining in a little later. So this is Leone, L-E-O-N-I-E -E from uh, Coco Knits um, is the pattern. Um, knit in BC Garn Lino by our fantastic sample knitter and all round excellent person, Joy. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> 
people are asking, do we have 6.5 millimeter in Nipro needles? If they're not on the website, um, we are getting more Nipro stock should arrive Tuesday, Wednesday next week. So sign up when you click on it and it says out of stock, there's a box that you can put in your email address to say, notify me when back in stock and you'll get an automatic notification. Um, it would be a lovely evening top, all the sparkles, loving German twisted. Are you going to hold double for the second one? You're not, that's right, isn't it? No. no. Yeah, stick with the single that, strand. I love, that, I love that effect. Yeah, yeah. I agree, I agree. Um, lovely held single and over tops and everything in the summer, exactly, yeah. Um, and Deirdre has already ordered the Lino for it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Oh, nothing, I just have to say this, there is nothing that makes me happier. Uh, Maureen will tell you, I was doing a little dance yesterday because there were so many stripes kits going out. Yeah. And <laughs> Where's the security man came in and he said, stop singing and dancing in here. <laughs> it just makes me so happy when people like what I've knit yeah. and it encourages them. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Well, because, you know, in, in times gone by, Joy would have been here on a Saturday with Anne and kind of sharing the knowledge and um, running the stitch sessions. And that's what you'd see coming out of it all the time is just, oh, you know, a love note would be finished from one of the group and next night, next week, there's a little love note, there's another love note, there's a, or what was the other ones? I think there's five, the... Five Des Jones. I think there were five or six five Des Jones. Yeah. And also had the girlfriend cardigan. There's a few of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You you're, you inspire people. You really do. So I'm, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab some sparkles. Hold one moment. Hold on. Oh, I see some lovely people saying lovely things about me. Thank you. Not very deserved. <laughs> see, that's great. I can just leave Joy chatting to you while I run and grab things. <laughs> um, so there you go. That you could go super blue. You could go like that. I don't seem to have the navy down there, but that's okay. And then you could go, I think this one with this guy would be fabulous. So yeah. That would be really nice. So that's Stellaris in color 167 um, with doo -doo -doo, color 61 in, you know. Um, now, so. Uh, Deirdre was asking if the yeah. Lena was um, slippy. Um, not, well, I, I didn't have it in the Chiago. I was using wooden needles anyway, but it's a fine yarn on big needles. So it is slippy. Mm. You're going to get that anyway. Um, yeah. So little bit slippy so yeah you do have to kind of you can lose you can lose your stitches without watching you know fair enough fair enough yeah but so you, you just i didn't find it difficult to work with or anything i'd heard a few people say they didn't like linen but i didn't mm -hmm. find that at all i liked it so. i think it's it, when you're used to knitting in like fleece or, or animal fibers you use that naturally elasticity that they have yeah. Um, and I find, you know, the first couple of rows of a project knit in, in cotton or a linen blend or something like that, yeah. I, you know, your hand is sort of expecting to be able to move that little bit more like when you're tensioning the yarn. And, and exactly. it's, it's microscopic, really, the difference. And once you settle in after the couple of rows, you, you, you're just exactly. familiar with the behavior of the yarn and, and, and more at one in the project. So <laughs> sorry, just loving sparkles and cocktails in the back garden. Oh, cocktails, yes. Yes, yeah, lockdown cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you for coming to tell us a little bit more about no it. Um, I will let you go because I want to um, get people's help if they don't mind. We're going to get do a little bit of communal voting on uh, a, a loops blanket color selection, loops blanket color selection for Kathy, who I hope is watching. Um, and she was just looking for some options on colors. So stay tuned for that. And Joy, I will see you soon. Bye. Talk to you. Bye bye. Bye bye. I don't think, I think you have to go. I can't kick you off. <laughs> How do I move? Hmm. Do I have to X up at the top, is it? I think so. Yeah. Stop That's okay. Are oh, you stay, stay for the color selection. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she's gone. Okay. Bye, Joy. She's fantastic. Let's do a knit along with that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to take you over because um, Kathy was putting together her own color combinations for the loops blanket, which I will also bring, I think. So, okay. And then we're going to have a look at some options and help her choose colors. Let's see. Turn around. Okay. Here we go. 
Now, so Kathy sent us a message. She had been looking at all the different colours online and she had settled more or less. She wanted to do a blue and green theme. Um, and these are the ones we need for six, eight. Yeah, you need nine colours for the junior size of the loops blanket right here. And she wasn't sure which one to use as a pup. Is it going to be this guy or this guy? Okay, so I'm going to pop these guys in. Now, bear in mind, go this way, that in between each of these colours in the blanket, there's going to be a cream is going to go all the way through it. So do we think option number one with the pink or option number two with this sort of lovely yellowy green? What do we think? So votes in the comments, please, for option number, this is option two. And just do a little scan over. And this is option number two, or one, one, one for pink. Okay. It's a tough one. Um, yellow two, yellow. <laughs> okay, split down the middle. Actually, just say yellow or pink for me, sorry. Say yellow or pink, because then I will forget. Um, yellow, 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 yellow. Oh, thank you, everybody. And I hope, Kathy, you can see this. Um, option, yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay, I think yellow is getting more votes on this one. So, pink, yellow, thanks, everybody. Oh, goodness. Well, I hope, I hope, Kathy, seeing them is helping. Um, and fingers crossed, you can, yeah, I think yellows has it. So it does, it's gorgeous. Very, very nice. So that's going to be your own version of the loops blanket. Um, and I hope that was useful. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay. There's a couple of pinks in there. It hasn't, it's not completely ruled out, but you get to make the final decision, Kathy. Okay. And then I just wanted to jump back to the night shift shawl. I haven't tidy these guys up a little bit to make some more room. Ooh just because it was a little hard to see these colours when I was holding them up. And, ba -ba. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have the name of the person is gone straight out of my head, but you wanted six shades for the night shift shawl. And we were saying all of these worked Purpurus, Ravelry Red, Diana, Sunset, I think that is pines, yeah. And then it was either Azules, Azules, or Paris Night. Now, right, not that, right, okay. So I'm gonna go back over here. <laughs> All the stuff that I just throw around everywhere. Hold on. For okay, probably. Yeah, I think it's good to be able to scan over things and show show you the full one you guys are still arguing over the pink and the yellow in the comments so uh i think you're gonna go yellow fantastic great <laughs> okay so we are nearly wrapped up for today thank you so much to everybody who joined me and uh, including including the wonderful joy my great special guest um and next week we will not be doing a live next week um we have a couple of other commitments next weekend, but I will be back the following one. Um, so uh, do any, any questions you have, fire them over our way in the meantime. Um, and don't forget that we have that giveaway opening up tomorrow. You will need to comment underneath the Instagram post to be able to chance to win, tagging a friend. Um, we, all of the products that were linked today, or all of the products that were featured today, will be linked in our Instagram profile shortly. We're going to create a collection so you can just see them all in one place. Um, our website is thisisknit.ie. I'm sure you all know that, but just in case. Um, and if you are enjoying these lives, if you like to hear from us generally, um, then please be sure to sign up to the newsletter too, because um, we send a newsletter once every two weeks um, and popping into your inbox with a few little updates and sometimes some special news and things like that um, is a good way as well for us to stay in touch. So uh, in the meantime, thank you. Thank you everybody for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Enjoy St. Patrick's Day if you're celebrating it. Um, and we will see you not next Saturday, the Saturday after. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye.